Well, here I go again, changing the name of my freaking YouTube channel. I've had several. Uh, the biggest difference here between now and what I have been for the past few months is uh, instead of just being down, being down MMT, I'm trying to like let you know what MMT is. Because unfortunately, when it comes to mainstream media, uh, they tend to... Um, uh, not tell the whole truth about pretty much anything, especially economics. So MMT is basically acknowledgement of what a sovereign currency, a country that can that controls their own currency, controls or has a floating exchange rate, shows you what a country can do as far as spending when it when it has to. Uh, it's it's a whole. A whole bunch of things, uh, but basically, it just it just shows you what fiat currency is. With that, that includes a um, floating exchange rate, and uh, that we can that we can pay any bill that we that we that we have to. That's denominated in our currency. So, you had the originator of MMT was a few people. Uh, one of which was Warren Mosler, who um, founded it and found the MMT based on, I guess, his experience with the was it cap the capital market, and basically just like looking at how a fiat currency is and stuff like that. And fiat currencies are not a new thing. And it started back in Asia, and this I want to say what. 15th or 16th century. Uh, from what I read on it, from the history uh, website, it's, it, started, it started in the Song Dynasty. Uh, but very much like us, they were sick of uh, trading um, or having people do exchanges with gold. Instead, they just they innovated the printing press. So they started uh, starting uh, started uh, spending a fiat currency in exchange for the gold reserves and all those stuff. They, they kind of got tired of exchange, you know, the exchanging one for the other. So they just had people do it in fiat currency and then made it easier for people who are, otherwise would have uh, still been exchanging in gold. Um, they made it easier for them to carry it around and do uh, merchant work and stuff of that nature. And that's, what, and that's pretty much why we did it in regards to the 1933 and uh, 71 uh, 1933 the financial crisis was based on the fact that there wasn't enough currency uh fiat currency being printed in order to be able to, for exchange for gold or you know it was it was paid to gold in other words as far as like international trade as well as uh people could take their bring their fiat currency in and trade for gold and that sort of thing um anyways so trying to make a long story short it's the is the way you should know that when politicians talk about how we're going to pay for it, taxes, taxes don't, taxes aren't for anything. They're for, they're to provision the government, they're to uh, give the government a tax liability to where IRS, for instance, can collect it. Taking it out of the economy, deleting it nowadays through computer and stuff of that nature. Um, anyway, so that's, that's my interpretation of, M of MMT. You want to get more information about MMT? There's quite a few resources for that. You can go to uh, realprogressives.org. Uh, the uh, the founder Steve Grumbine. He has a podcast not only on YouTube called The Rogue Scholar, but also uh, does an interview a show on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern called Macro and Cheese, where he interviews people like uh, Bill Mitchell, uh, um, Steve Keen, uh, Michael Hudson, uh, Warren Moser a few times, Debbie Jelton a few times, and other, uh, and other vari variations of economics and other parts of the economy as well. So check that out at realprogress.org. You can also check out Warren Moser at MoserEconomics.com, I believe. Uh, you, can also, uh, you can also check out Stephanie Kelton, who has a substack. I believe it's stephaniekelton.substack.com. You can uh, follow Bill uh, Bill Mitchell on uh, on uh, Twitter at 
Bill Mitchell, pretty much, uh, L. Rondo Ray, uh, who's another MMT or originator of it. Um, she's at the Levy Institute. She, you can look them up there. Um, let's see. Mike Norman at pitbulleconomics.com or uh, Mike Norman on YouTube. Uh, he's a, uh, Mike Norman in particular has been a Wall Street, you know, trader, uh, FX trader, you name it. He's done it for like 40, 40 plus years for like 40 plus uh, in the, uh, uh, firms. Uh, you can check him out as well. He used MMT to pretty much let you know what the market is like and stuff of that nature. Anyway, so that's pretty much all I gotta say as far as that part goes. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok. Uh, WTF uh, is uh, MMT on uh, TikTok here as well. Facebook, Calvin Taylor. Um, yeah. Anyways, so check progressives dot dot org out. Uh, check them out on Facebook. at Real Progressives in Action, or just Real Progressives on uh, on Facebook. Uh, also Twitter, same things at and then the following names. Stuff like that. Anyway, so that's what I got to say as far as that part goes. Um, yeah, that's it pretty much. Uh, peace out for now. And learn MMT if you want to know what the economy is really based and know, you know the BS that the politicians didn't tell you so that they don't have to spin on anything that the public uh, for the public purpose and only for their donors and, and other people. Anyways, peace out for now.